What's going on guys? This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. I got a 1995 Impala SS, low mileage car. It's 116,000. I'm gonna do a little walk around, point out any kind of flaws. I just got back from a test drive. This car runs and drives awesome. Nice, smooth ride. Everything seemed to work. So I'm gonna do a little walk around. We're gonna point out every flaw on the outside. If you haven't seen that test drive, all you gotta do is type in 1995 Impala SS Maple Motors in the YouTube search bar and it will pop up. We're gonna go ahead and start up front here. This car does have a lot of paint chips and little paint flaws. Just cosmetic stuff that needs to be repaired. Running and driving wise, it is awesome. You can see around the front bumper, all the wear definitely going to need to be repainted there i'm going to look for some major dents anything like that that may catch my eye here the paint job's an easy fix so for the most part it's not terrible it just has little spots in it like that you could actually drive the car the way it is no problems There's a little chip in the windshield here. Looking around all the edges right around the wheel wells. See that trims, paint's faded. Front tires, probably about 30%, 25%. Front disc brakes. I think these cars came with all wheel disc brakes all the way around sun's not being my friend today it's making a glare in our picture see a lot of this trim here is faded no rust spots popping up on the car though It looks nice and straight. Making our way to the back. Huge exhaust tips. Good flow. It's got a good sound to it too. But you can see all the trims faded in the same spot. Around the tail lights. I think the worst part's this wing. It's got a lot of bad spots in it. The bottom part. Trunk lid itself's got a chip there. Don't see anything in the back glass there. The tent still looks good on the car. A few little scratches back here. Just mainly a lot of light scratches and paint chips. We're on the mirror there. Let's go ahead and pop the hood. I haven't seen any major dents. That's mainly what I was looking for. I knew the car had chips and scratches. I tried to let y'all know before we started the walk around here. So we'll go ahead and pop the hood, check under here. This is a LT1 car. 5.7. AC works. Engine's nice and quiet. 
Insulation still up under the hood here. Doesn't look too great, but it is a 95 model. It's probably original. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the trunk. These cars have humongous trunks in them. Well, already got the keys on me. Do got a key fob that comes with it. Trunk opens right up. Got your spare tire, your jack. It's all carpeted. The seals around the trunk are in great shape. Trunk lid itself is in great shape. Carpet's nice and clean back here. Brand new spare. Shuts nicely. Let's go ahead and check this interior out now. Looking at the door panel, it's definitely showing signs of wear. You can see the crack right there. From what I could tell, every single switch on this door works. When we did the test drive, I kind of went over a little bit of it. Door jams are nice and clean. The seat does have a rip in it. The lower portions, the where the tear is, it's on the passenger side too. A little rip there. Upper portion's in good shape. Upper portion on the driver's side showing wear. Not ripped yet. Looking around in the car, the headlighter's in great shape. Not seeing any issues there. That back dash package tray looks great. Been down at the seat and stuff, good condition in the back. Won't have to be any repairs there. Carpet's nice and clean. They even have the original mat there and they kept it covered up. So doesn't look bad at all. Sometimes this is all stretched out looks good this side's a little stretched out let's come back over here i'm gonna look up at the headliner just see the full thing in good shape let's take a seat these cars have huge dashes notorious for cracking but this one's solid don't see any cracks in it it's in good shape We'll shut the door. Maybe that'll help with the sun. And we'll look around in here. Go ahead and start her up for you. Starts up nice and easy. If you look at the gauges, they all come up. Mileage on it, 116. I believe all the gauges were working. Uh, AC was working as well as the heat. Heat's blowing out hot. AC's, give it a second. Blowing cold. I do have the face to the radio in the office. We just pop them out so people don't break windows just to get it. It does have the older iPod connection. Ashtray's nice and clean. Glove box is locked, obviously. I have to take the keys out. Look it down in here. Got the manual to the car. That's usually you got a big dent in it. This time it don't. That's nice and in good shape still. Horn does work. I'm saying we'll go over some of this stuff. Lock, unlock, even our mirrors work. Well, I was moving the other one. Let's see. Windows work good. Go over all of them since we're doing this. All the windows go up and down good. See, this is your seat options, and if you watch the test drive video, you can actually see the seat does work. And that was all your buttons to your seat, so. Of course, window locks. All that good stuff. Let's open the door and check it out. Check this motor out. Go ahead and hit your windshield wipers for you. They do work. Everything seems to work on this car. Got 
a great sound to it. It is a bit cold out here. It's about 35 today. Just letting y'all know that's not smoke coming out. Nice quiet motor. See if I can pull it. There we go. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed my walk around. If you don't mind, if you like this vehicle, please check out the test drive. I go over everything running down the road. You can also check out my website, maplemotors.com. I got 100 detailed pictures of inside out and underneath of this car. These videos should cover everything, but if they don't, you can check that out. And uh, please give us a call, 615-822-4444. If you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. I post cars like this every single day. We have a full car lot full of classic cars we generally deal in. But if it's an American V8 muscle car, we'll be interested in looking at it. We do take trades in all the time. Don't be shy. Check us out. Give us a call. And thanks for watching, guys.